hello everyone today i would like to show you how to display different fonts characters and bitmap images on an led display with adreno initially i made a tutorial showing you the general use of the oled display with adreno but i did not go deep in explaining how to display uh, alternate fonts characters and images on this display and this is important especially if you are going to display various graphics like logos and other artistic impressions on the OLED display. So that is what I'm going to be dealing with today. I'll begin by showing you how to display alternate fonts other than the built-in fonts. There are quite a number of other fonts that you can use on these displays. Actually, to access these fonts, you can go to the Adafruit GFX library. Then there is a folder for fonts. If you open this folder, you see there are quite a number of other fonts that can be used with the OLED display. These fonts are mainly in the type of mono, sans serif and also come in different sizes mainly 9 18 12 and 24 points and they can be bold italic oblique as you can see here also this 7b represents that there are seven bit characters in others they are ascii codes so let me show you how to include these fonts in our arduino code and how to display them on the screen okay let me use this simple sketch to show you how to use these alternate fonts so basically what you do before you use the fonts, you need to first include them in the program. So for example, I'll just put here include the font and then they specify the type of font. For example, here I'm going to be using the serif bold and nine points. So after including the font that you are going to be using in your code, you will simply use the set font method and put the font type as the argument for that method. So for example, here I'm going to be using the free serif bold nine points. And in this case, you don't need to use the set text size method because normally we always have to specify the text size so but in this case because the text size is already specified within the font for example you're using nine points so you don't need to use the set text size in that case so here we just say set font and put the font that you are going to use then it means all the other output you want to display on the oled is going to be using this type of font if you want to get out of this font you just put set font then you put blank you don't put any font inside then it means you're going to be using the inbuilt font type so as simple as that for example let me upload this to my oled and i see how it is going to display the hero world and as you can see now you are able to see the hello world using the serif bold nine points font type i can try it using a different font uh, i can use the mono okay let me use the sans i use the sans nine points so I will include free sans nine points in my program. Then if I want to use it here, still I will go here and then change this from serif bold to sans. Then I can be able to upload my program and I see what I'll be able to see after uploading this code to my sketch. As you can see after uploading, you will see the hero world with the sans fonts. So you can try it with the different types of fonts that you want. Let's now look at how to display some special characters on the OLED display for example if you want to display a degree symbol if you're reading temperature then you need to have the code for that degree symbol in that case you are going to be using the code page 437 code which gives the ASCII code for a number of characters as you can see here this is the code page 437 and has a number of characters and their corresponding decimal hexadecimal and then the character itself so for example from here you can be able to get a number of characters that you can be using in your code for example if you want to use like the degree symbol you can look for it here it's around like this one 167 this is the dig the decimal value for the degree symbol if you're going to be using it uh, let's see how this is implemented in the code so i'll use this simple sketch here here yeah, still I'm going to be using the free sans bold nine points font type and then I wanted to show you like when you are using that font type you use the set font to begin using the font type and then send font and then with the empty argument this one means now you are using the inbuilt fonts so this word characters is going to be in the serif bold font type but then this for example this C here will be in the inbuilt fonts for the display and then to be able to use the code page 437 we have a cp 437 method then you have to make it true then from there you can be able to use the right method and input the number of the character from the ascii chart that i've been showing you before 
So for example, here I'm going to be using character 35, 42, 175, and 167. And I'll already show you 167 is the degree symbol. I will upload this code and then I'll be able to show you how it appears. And as you can see from the screen there, you can be able to see the different characters being displayed on the LED display. So that's how you are able to use the different fonts and the special characters and to display them on the OLED display. Finally, I will show you how to display bitmap images on the OLED. First, we will need to change the image to monochromatic bitmap format. For example, in my case, I have a simple image here, which I have labeled face, which I'm going to be changing to monochromatic bitmap format. I'll be using the Microsoft Paint program, but you can use any tool. For example, you can use Inkscape or Photoshop to be able to convert it to bitmap format. So what I will just do is I'll right click on the image and go to edit, then to open the paint. Then from here, I need to resize this image because I'm going to be using a screen of 128 by 32 pixels. So I need to resize this image so that it can be able to fit on my screen. So I'm going to be using pixels and then and check this one. It's going to be 128 and the vertical is going to be 32. Then press OK. So it will be minimized to the required screen size then from here you can be able to save this image you go to save as then you go to bitmap picture then you to ask you i want it to be saved for example i'm going to save it in downloads then i'll check here in the save type there are different types of bitmap images so in my case i'm going to be using the monochromatic bitmap so i'll just select that one and then click save OK and then yeah, you can see how the image is going to appear on your OLED screen so when you go to your downloads here you will see this is the image that we have created so on our screen the image should appear like this but then to be able to display the image on the screen we need to first change it into a byte array so that you can be able to include it in our code for that we need to look for a bitmap array generator tool there are quite a number of them but in my case I'm going to be using one called the image to CPP tool that I'm going to be showing you here. So this is the image to CPP tool that we can be used to convert the bitmap image into a bitmap array that we are going to be using in our code. So to use this image is quite simple. You just go and select the image you want to change. For example, in my case, I'll just go to choose file. Then I'll choose the file I've just converted to a bitmap, which is this one. Choose then open that face.bmp. Then check the settings. One, check the size i'm using 128 by 32 it's okay then background color you can increase on the brightness let me increase it to around i'll increase my brightness to 170 then the scaling i'll just use it to original size because i'm using 128 by 32 it's okay then down here you can be able to see how the image is going to appear on your screen because you're using rather a small screen so the image will not appear very big like that but if you're using for example uh, 128 by 64 pixels then it will appear bigger than this then finally you look for the output there are different formats of the output but you don't need to change in this case leave it at Arduino code it's okay then you simply press generate code then to give you the byte array that you are going to be using in your Arduino code to be able to use this code simply copy and paste in your program for example I'll just copy this code here copy now I simply paste that byte array here and you have all the details about the bitmap image within your code here. So it's just going to be in a flash memory and then also for this code you need to use the draw bitmap function. This function has six parameters. This first to represent the coordinates, the x and y coordinates for where the image is beginning. Then the next one give you the name of the bitmap image and then these other two give you the size of the screen you are using. For example, I'm using 128 by 32 and then this one gives you the color. So from here you can be able to compile and upload the code into your Arduino and see what happens. So as you can see from the display there, you can be able to see the image of the face on the display. Because I'm using 128 by 32 pixel display, the image appears a bit small. So if you're using a 64 pixel display, then it will be a bit larger than that and appear bigger. You can try it on your own using different images and see how it works. 
so that was it for today we're just showing you other ways of displaying graphics and fonts and characters on the oled hope you've learned something new today don't forget to subscribe and to like my videos and also watch my other tutorials thanks for watching